It's a blessed day. Um, like 10 new quizzes that are perfect for me just dropped on Sporkle. How about this one? Celebrity early headshots. Can you guess who these celebrities are? Based, I know you can't see anything yet, by the way, but based on headshots of them before they were famous. Let's test my face blindness and my ability to de-age someone in my head, okay? So, there's like 10 of these quizzes or eight of these quizzes. Let's get started. Quiz one, I'm here to tell you, oh, oh no, I thought I had to type it. This is too weird. Okay, so I don't know who you are yet, but I'm pretty sure you're Chris Pratt. I think you're Ava Green. You're Adam Sandler. What a hilarious photo. You're Hillary Duff. That's a scary photo. I know you. You're the you're Joe Manganiello. You're Eva Longoria. You are Rebel Wilson, and you are Amanda Seyfried. I can do. Oh, you've only got a minute, Hillary Duff. Amanda Seyfried. Naomi Naomi Watts. Right there. Eva Longoria. Chris Pratt. Adam Sandler. Joe Manganiello. Rebel Wilson. Jamie Lee Curtis, okay. It's a little bit easy. What is this Adam Sandler photo? Are you seeing this? <laughs> I'm not saying, by the way, I don't think Adam Sandler has, has aged badly at all. But he definitely, it hits different when he was young. Like this is Andrew Dice Clay. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet Eating a cousin way. Along came a spider that sat down beside her and gave her a bone of his own. Hey, got it? Okay, next quiz. Okay, before we get started, this is this Bill Hader? This is Lindsay Lohan. This is I know you. Don't start with me. I I I'll get to you in a in a second, okay? This is Jennifer Lawrence. I feel like this is Carrie Russell, but I can't tell. This is Paris Hilton's mom. This is Keanu Reeves. Dude, the Channing Tatum photo is so good. That's amazing. I don't I think you're Kirsten Dunst now that I look at that. Okay, let's try. Channing Tatum. That's so good. Katherine Heigl is you. Okay. Keanu Reeves. Lindsay Lohan. Josh Dumal. Josh Dumal looks a bit like Bill Hader. You're Charlize Theron. You're Jennifer Lawrence. You're Kirsten Dunst. You're Martha Stewart. Now that was unexpected. Next quiz. I really thought I'd have to type these in. Okay, this is Reese Witherspoon. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. You're Angelina Jolie. I, you're Jessica Biel. You're... Sarah Michelle Geller. I don't know who you are. I don't know. Okay, I'm in trouble. I think I saw Whoopi Goldberg. Chloe Grace Moretz. That's you. Reese Witherspoon. Jessica Biel. Whoopi Goldberg. Viola Davis. That's you. Sarah Michelle Geller. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy? Yeah, okay. Angelina Jolie. Leslie Jones. That's a 10 out of 10. Oh, uh, there's... No, there's still only eight. Okay. You're Will's best friend from Will and Grace. <laughs> You're Alec Baldwin. I think I'm in a world of hurt. Laverne Cox. Alec Baldwin. Reba McIntyre. Drew Barrymore. It's got to be you. That is Will's best friend from Will and Grace, Sean Hayes. Yvette Nicole Brown. Ben Stiller. Emma Watson. How is there an Emma Watson photo from 1964? Is she a shapeshifter? Is she a time traveler? I'm with you, by the way. I didn't know Alec Baldwin was so hot. 
This is like, it is like Ryan Gosling level. Flirt, very hot. He looks like a serial killer. See, this is the chest hair bias that keeps me from living that one button down lifestyle. Just because he's got a little exposed chest hair, now he looks like a serial killer, and now I can't wear my Tommy Bahama uh, Mickey Mouse Disney Cruise ship uh, shirt on stream anymore because people say that you, you look like a... It, it's, it's, it's this bald bias. It's this chest hair bias. We got no control over it. It's a hormonal thing. Okay, we've got Matt Damon, Leia Remini, I know you. Carrie Ellis, Amy Adams, Patrick Stewart, Stephen Colbert. You're Tory Spelling. I don't know you, but you're kind of like Ed Norton. No, I know you. I'm going to I'm going to figure this shit out. I know this face. If I look if I just go I'm I'm covering his hair and I'm looking at him and I am seeing you. I see you. I see you. Patrick Stewart. Stephen Colbert. Zach Braff! Matt Damon. Carrie Elwes. Amy Adams. Leia Remini. Tori Spelling. Get owned. Okay. It's the easiest quiz of all time. Why does Patrick Stewart look like he's possessed by uh, Joe Rogan? Well, he's probably doing something positively Shakespearean right now. He's, he's, this is your face. My reaction when I discover there's something rotten in the state of Denmark. My reaction when poor Yorick, I hardly knew ye. We have a lady. We have Gerard Butler, Jennifer Garner, David Harbour, Gabrielle Union. <laughs> what is this? Is, this? <laughs> is Dan's older brother? That's Dan's older brother? I don't know you. I know you. I know you're Portia de Rossi. Who the hell are you? Who the hell do you think that I think you are? I don't know who you are either. Are you Jewel? Oh, you're Isla Fisher. Okay, Gabrielle Union, Portia de Rossi, Gerard Butler, Johnny Knox. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, same hairstyle as my photos from school in like 1997. Jennifer Garner, David Harbour, Yolanda Hadid. I don't know who that is, to be honest with you. This photo is so good. Dan's older brother. Whoa, fake kids of childless celebrities? Can you determine the resemblance of these imagined daughters of famous women who have no children. So who, this is not the child of a famous person, but it looks like a famous person. Okay, it's a little strange. I don't think I could do this. This is weird. Get me out. Are these AI created images or are these real people? This quiz is freaking me out. It's got bad vibes. I don't know where I am. I'm not, no, okay, before what made them famous? <laughs> Get me out, I, I've already done quizzes like that. You think I haven't seen young Bill Clinton with his saxophone? Come on. Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. All right. And those are the most popular quizzes today. Trending playlist today. Footballer images? That's okay. Um, let's look at wait, uh, Quiz Labs editor's picks. I was kind of enjoying those science quizzes we were doing, honestly. It, it, I, like, ninth grade level science quizzes would be the perfect level for me right now. And I want it to be, can I get exclusively picture quizzes? Like, I definitely do not want, um, well, maybe I do want medical terms for mundane problems. No, it, it, they have to be picture quizzes, man. That's the secret. 
I know it takes us a while to find them sometimes, but that's because we're certain we're searching for the best. I'm not just searching for watch me click on some stuff I already know, okay? I'm looking for stuff like exponent evaluation. Can you decide can you decide it whether the given exponent expression is a simplified answer that is greater than a thousand or less than a thousand? I don't fully understand the instructions yet. But five to the power of five. That's greater than a thousand. Seven to the power of three is less than a thousand. Fourteen to the power of three is greater than a thousand. Five to the power of two, that's an insult. Nineteen to the power of nine. Okay, come on. You're 30 questions. This is too easy. It's too easy. I gave it a chance, okay? Today's top quizzes in math. How about how about this? Science group grab bags no we don't wait maybe we do do this the three main no we don't do this give me pictures 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 give me p clickable movie character no i want pictures let me see so, some pictures or some typing okay how about first five science yeah can you name the first five items in each of those following science themed categories now we're talking Elements by atomic number, hydrogen, helium, lithium, I pass, layers of the earth, core, oh, toposphere, atmosphere, ionosphere, um, space, molten core, clouds, the sky, taxonomical ranks, domain, kingdom, Phylum, class, order, numbers in binary from that are greater than zero. Okay, let's start with one. Oh, one oh. One one. Oh oh <laughs> one. One oh oh one. One oh one oh one. Okay, I don't I don't know binary. I just I I figured that I reverse engineered that one. Countries to launch an object in the orbit. Uh, the USSR, America, United, USA. I would say next was probably China. No, India. India was after. Okay, Canada. Excuse me. Um, the European Union, consisting of the United Kingdom. United, uh, France, France, Germany. Countries to launch an object into orbit. Countries to launch an object into orbit. North Korea? I know that sounds crazy. Didn't they do a flex where they were like, they shot down a satellite or something? I know that sounds completely insane. But I thought that was like a mini crisis during the Bush administration. I thought Kim Jong-il shot down a satellite just to prove like, hey, we can do shit in space too. That was China. Okay, well, I guess we've already got that one. I don't know. Three-letter body parts alphabetically. Arm. Eye, ear, leg, <laughs> okay, okay, um, jaw, tip of my finger, um, toe. <laughs> I'm out. Layers of Earth and its atmosphere. Wait, Japan. Yes, okay. You know what they launched really into orbit? The career of Hatsune Miku. Layers of Earth and its atmosphere. The mantle. The core. The crust? The crust. The biosphere? The atmosphere. The ionosphere. The ozone. The, the, the mantle? The crust. The core. The, the, the core? Am I crazy? I give up. Oh, come on. Inner core, outer core. I forgot about the troposphere. That was what I was trying to think of. We beat the average, barely. Yo, first five. We can do this. First five letters of the Greek alphabet. Alpha, beta, oh, beta. 
Delta. Epsilon. He's insane. Kappa. What? What is? What is C? C okay. Cicero. Cicero. Numbers in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cinco, cuatro, cuatro, cuatro. Can I get a spell check? Spell check? Cuatro. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Thank you. Thank you. Commonly used English words. B, the, a, un, am, is, are, hi. Um, two. I, you, what's up? Official languages of the EU, English, French, German, Dutch. Last one's always tricky. Italian, he's insane. Months in French, Janvier, Février, Mars, Avril, May, <laughs> hey! anagrams of Aelst, alphabetically, stale, least, least comes first, that's scary, tails, excuse me, that's a little insulting, Anagrams of Aest, of Aelst. I can do this. They start with L. Slate. Sal salad. Tss. Come on, we're close, man. We're close. We're close. Gamma? Yay! <laughs> A, B, G, D. I knew it. Anagrams of Aelst. Anagrams of Aelst. Set. S salt. Salta. There's one more that's S, T. Or it could be S. No, it has to be S, T. E, a steel. And then there's one more that could be S, L. Sleet. Slate, we already did. Could be SL. Or it could be L. Late. <laughs> L, A, L. This one's going to bother me. It could be S, L, A, E, T. That's the only one mathematically it could be there. So if it can't be, or alphabetically. So if it's not that, it's got to be L. It's not going to be L, T. So it's going to be L, E. Lazat, Lataz, Liats. Am I losing it? I give up. I want to see what it is. Satal. The hell is Satal? <laughs> Must be a real word. It's a stiff hair or bristle. It's a perfectly cromulent word. Whatever. We crushed it. What's next? Oh, science, yeah. Okay, you know what? We can go first five here. I love general knowledge because it's all I got. First five sports, let's go. First five UEFA European Championship winners. Um, England. Ah, sorry. Um, France. Sorry, Germany. East Germany too, maybe? Okay, um, Portugal. Spain. UK. Italy, that's a big one. Greece, I remember they did it. Okay, let's move on. Summer Olympic host cities. Ro London, Paris, Madrid maybe. Rome, Turin, Napoli. Really? Athens? Athens, that's a good one. That's a really good one. <laughs> um... It could be one. It could be a New York in there. It could be a Los Angeles. It could be a Lake Placid in, in the summertime. Super Bowl winners. 
You got the Stillers. You got the Giants. You got the Colts. You got the Cowboys. You got the Jets. You got the... Tennis players to win 15... I'm fucked, dude. Tennis players to win 15 Grand Slams. Steffi Graf. Monica Seles. Martina Hingis. Both of the Williams sisters? No, just, just Serena. 15 is a lot. Sampras? Oh, he's at 14. Sorry, my mistake. Nadal? Djokovic? No, he's not there yet. Sorry. Um, Federer? Bjorg? Bjorn Borg? John McEnroe? Martina Navratilova. Hingis. Justine Enin Arden. The Catalan events men's. Discus. Really? Running. 100 meter? 200 meter. Javelin. Discus. I mean, there's a lot of numbers. 150 meter hurdle. 110 meter hurdles. I know Olympic events. Okay, the Test Cricket Nations. India. What? Australia? New Zealand. I guess it's in order, so it makes sense. Like it's in chronological order. I'm, I'm losing it at UEFA European Championship winners. Spain. Portugal. England, Italy, West Germany, East Germany. What other countries are in Europe that could have won the Euro? Am I, am I, do I have a huge blank spot? Did Iceland win one? You got Greek, maybe Turkey won one? Is Turkey even, <laughs> I guess, I don't even know if they play in, in the Euro. Croatia? They did really well at the World Cup that year. I don't, I'm out of here, man. I give up. The Soviet Union. Czechoslovakia won a, won a Euro? <laughs> this is crazy. I spelled Martina Navratilova wrong. That was 56. That's, that was, those were some hard sports questions. I just, I'm never going to forgive myself for spelling Navratilova incorrectly. First five, geography. Modern countries with a population over 200 million. China? India? It's in order of them getting over 200 million. Okay. Um, <laughs> USA? Yeah, all right. Bangladesh? Pakistan? Indonesia? Hey! Okay, okay. Over 200 million. Brazil? He's insane. Former UK African countries decolonized. I'm going to pass on that one for a second. That's going to need the most of my brain power, I think. Countries on the equator from west to east. Ecuador. Is like, is Chile west of Ecuador? That's not even on the side. Colombia, maybe? Okay. And then Venezuela? No. Okay. Brazil? Suriname? Guyana? So east of Brazil, you have like Mali? Cote d'Ivoire? The Ivory Coast? Algeria? Morocco? Morocco? I'm ass. I'm ass. I'm 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 ass. Um What the hell is west of Ecuador? Peru? <laughs> I knew that wasn't it. I'm sorry. Panama? Oh. Capitals of Asia alphabetically. That's fucked, man. I don't know. That's hard. 
That's, that takes a lot of processing power. Countries on the Rhine. How about Germany? How about Poland? How about south of Germany, Austria? How about Hungary? That's kind of in there. I literally spelled it hungry. Um, how about Denmark? How about Luxembourg? How about Switzerland? Okay. How about Slovakia? How about Czechia? How about Slovenia? How about... Kind of guessing a little bit. How about Liechtenstein, which I never spell correctly. How about Italy? I don't think so, but... So how about Belgium? How about the Netherlands? How about... How about... Did I, did I do Luxembourg already? I don't know how it would go through Luxembourg and not touch... Uh, Belgium or the Netherlands, but get to Germany. I guess I guess it could. I guess it could. Maybe no, if it jumped, maybe. Okay, I'm out. Capital cities north to south. Reykjavik. Okay. That's easy enough. After that, I'm I'm consulting my brain. And I'm saying after Reykjavik comes Oslo. There's one before. Stockholm. Can I say something insane to you? I feel like Ottawa might have a... Ch okay, it's... Forget I typed that. <laughs> London? There's a lot of... There's not that many countries in the north of the earth, okay? Helsinki, maybe? I honestly thought Helsinki was south of Oslo. But it might... that If you get something wrong on a map, just blame it on the Mercator projection, Okay. And then maybe Tallinn. Oh, yes! Okay. <laughs> that, that felt good. That felt like I'm back. Capitals of Asia alphabetically is fucked up, dude. Kazakhstan's capital is Astana. Ankara? Um... 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 <laughs> Astana not being on there makes me want to die. Oh, it became it became something else recently. Thank you, thank you. I've decided I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... My brain is rebelling against me. Former UK African countries decolonized. This is fucked. Like, I just honestly don't know anything about the history of Africa. And I apologize for that. I would say, so where do British tourists travel in Africa? Because they probably are most likely to travel to former colonies because I'm sure that they have like a weather spoons there. So we always, when we're in GeoGuessr, we always see a lot of British stuff in Kenya, in Uganda, in um, Botswana, in Lesotho, these are starting to not sound English. Okay. <laughs> South Africa? That was the first. In 1910? Mali. That was the first? I give up. I'm on seven seconds anyway. Yo, Poggy. Thank you. No, no, no. Look, here you go. Raspberries, cherries, bananas, blueberries, pea protein. Okay. Which glasses should I take? You should take these two glasses. Thank you. And the plate and the can? You can take the plate and the can as well. Thank you. I'm not a desk degen. I just honestly, I get it's ambush journalism. Thank you. You just wait. You just wait until 45 minutes into Kate stream. I'm going to bust in there. There's going to be an old uh, Diet Pepsi bottle from DoorDash four days ago. 
There's going to be a half-eaten kimbap from yesterday. I'm going to go, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to say, whoa, what's going on? Even if there's nothing, I'm just going to lie. Whoa, what is that? <clears throat> <clears throat> I love spreading misinformation on the internet. Me too, me too. Can you name the first five in these musical categories? Beatles studio albums. It's fucked up because the first ones are all called like the Beatles. Well, sorry. They're all called like meet the Beatles. With the Beatles. They're called like please, please me. They're called like help, I need somebody. They're called like I want to hold your hand. They're all called like, yes, the Beatles. Uh, um, uh, it's been a hard day's night. Okay, I'm done with that. Lyrics of, of Bohemian Rhapsody. Is this the real life? Artist to win best rap album Grammy. Okay, huh, hold on. Numbers in Jenny's phone number. 86753. Disney songs to win a Grammy, Michael Jackson's Billboard Hot 100 hits. Beat it. Thriller. Okay, we're going back. We're going back. Billy Jean. Wanna be starting something. We're going all the way back to bad. We're going all the way back to... We're going... Uh, ABC. <laughs> I guess uh, I want you back. Those don't count, huh? Come on. Come on. Annie, are you okay? Smooth criminal. Artist to win best rap album Grammy. So this probably started in like the 90s, maybe the late 80s. Let's say that NWA is the lower bound. No? Let's say that Nas is the lower bound. Let's say that Dr. Dre is the lower bound. Let's say Snoop Dogg is the lower bound. Let's say Common. Let's say Kanye West is the lower bound. What's going on here? Artist to win best rap album Grammy. How do you, this is a joke, man. Nobody here appears on the list. Eminem. Okay, Eminem is 2000. Eminem is the upper bound. The Wu-Tang Clan. Notorious B.I.G. A tribe called... Quest. De La Soul. Public Enemy. Souls of Mischief. Camp Low. Am I dying here? Am I just... Before 2000, before 2000, Cisco... <laughs> Will Smith, the rap album, the Grammy Award for Rap Album of the Year goes to Vanilla Ice, goes to MC Hammer, goes to <laughs> Snow. Am I dying? Okay, you're right. Beastie Boys got to be in there. Okay, I, I give up. I'm mad. Uh, Jay-Z was a good guess for sure. Yeah, okay, I can see Jay-Z. I mean, none of these are that insulting. I guess it's just the first year it happened was 96. And the last, like, yeah. So it's basically the first five winners. So we went a little bit too early. Fair enough. Oh, I didn't even touch the Disney songs. We still beat the average somehow. Pixar films. Toy Story. I give up. Toy Story 2. Finding Nemo? Okay, what's in the middle? Monsters, Inc. What's in between Toy Story and Toy Story 2? What's in between Toy Story and Toy Story 2? A Bug's Life. Let's go. Okay, James Bond Films. Dr. No. To Russia with Love. <laughs> From Russia with Love. Goldfinger. Thunderball. Moonraker. So, so close. Quentin Tarantino films. Pulp Fiction. Reservoir Dogs, of course. 
Jackie Brown. Kill Bill might be the last one. Kill Bill is the last two. Characters to speak in The Godfather. Michael. Corleone. V Vito Corleone. Corleone. Sonny Corleone. M Michael Corleone. I don't, I've never seen The Godfather. <laughs> uh, films that grossed a billion dollars worldwide. Titanic. Avatar. Hold on, hold on. It insists upon itself. The New Yorker, yes, The New Yorker. Okay, stuff, movies that grossed a billion dollars worldwide between 97 and 2009. Finding Nemo. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to look at the Pixar movies. But a billion dollars between 97 and 2009? One of the Harry Potters. Probably the Goblet of Fire. People always talk about that one. How about a Lord of the Rings? The Fellowship. You're going to make me type it? The Fellowship of the Ring? Really? A billion dollars. Transformers 1? I'm scared. I give up. The Return of the King. Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead Man's Chest 2006. And The Dark Knight. Dark Knight makes sense. You Only Live Twice hurts. It's got one of the best uh, themes of all time. I didn't even think about the Stephen King one. I, I, I just forgot it existed. 2000's Primetime Emmy Comedy Award winners. Frazier! What? Everybody Loves Raymond. From 2003. Will and Grace. Friends probably got a prestige award in its, in its final season. Frazier? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Had to look. Okay, let's start with American Idol winners. You've got Kelly Clarkson. You've got Ruben Stuttered. Carrie Underwood was somewhere in there. That's all I got. Um, Star Trek TV series. Star Trek. Enterprise. Uh, sorry. The Next Generation. Deep Space Nine. And then the other one. You know, not Enterprise, but the other one. Stargate. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about. You know the other one. Voyager. I'm not going to put it in. Voyager. That's the one. Okay, official host of the Tonight Show, Johnny Carson, Steve Allen, Conan, O'Brien for a second, and Jay Leno. Okay, Nicktoons, Blues Clues, what the hell is a Nicktoon? Cat Dog, The Angry Beavers, can I get some clarification on what a, a Nicktoon is? Am I on the right track at least? You're on the right track. Okay. American Horror Story season subtitles. Isn't one of them just called the House Carnival? Um, ghosts? <laughs> hospital? Psycho Hospital? Dollhouse. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, Nicktoons. Growing up, watching all the Nicktoons. Rocco's Modern Life from 93. Earlier than Rocco, you got a little Doug, 91. You got a little Hey Arnold. You got a little Rugrats. You've got a little... You got a little, I don't know. I feel like 2000's primetime Emmy comedy winners should be easy enough. 2004, nobody was given respect to Arrested Development, but maybe the critics. Man, the critics loved it! 
And then 2001, in seventh grade, what were people going ape shit for? Or what, what show ended in 2001? Frasier not winning is insane, man. I gotta know, what, what beat Frasier? Sex in the fucking city. That's not a primetime show that comes on at like 10 p.m. on HBO. That's insanity. Sex in the city. I bet they wish they could take that one back. Okay, I'm upset. Because I typed house and dollhouse. What I meant was murder house. Asylum, maybe I should have gotten that considering I typed psycho hospital. And then freak show was carnival. I was like so close on three of these. The average score was 38, by the way. I didn't skip this one. I tried. I just couldn't get it. Miscellaneous. NATO phonetic alphabet code words. Alpha. Hotel. Bravo. Copy. Delta. Epcot. Epsilon. E is an epsilon. E is an echo. Uh, alpha Bravo. Uh, car jack <laughs> countries with the starbucks u.s 1971 second canada 1987 in vancouver if you don't know that one just move away third where do they go after canada you would think mexico you'd be wrong it would be the united kingdom it would be england no you can't beat pret a manger at their own game after that it would be japan after japan it would spread to China. After Japan, it would spread to Korea, South Korea. After Japan, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to Australia, New Zealand, Belgium, a Belgium dip, India. That was kind of an insane guess. Imagine this guy is maybe even more insane of a guess. After Japan, I'm putting myself in back in the shoes of someone in the 90s. Mexico, maybe they finally, no, nope. what are you thinking? Spain, Portugal, a little closer. I don't know. U.S. universities to be chartered. Harvard, Yale, Dartmouth, Columbia. Ooh, Brown, Wesleyan, ITT Tech, um, DeVry, University of Phoenix Online. I don't know. I don't know. Big Mac Ingredients, Patty, <laughs> Sesame Seed Bun, Special Sauce, Lettuce, Onions, lettuce, ketchup, lettuce. Says something, 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 something. Sesame seed bun, tomato, lettuce. Sesame seed bun, bun, bun. Special sauce, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, burger. All beef patty, something like that. It's got that kind of cadence. Active Japanese car manufacturers. Honda. Toyota, Acura, that's part of Toyota, right? <laughs> Subaru, can I tell you, I had a tweet, I have to glance, I'm sorry, because I'm talking to Chad now. I had a tweet that I thought would make people upset, but I wanted to tweet it, is don't you hate it when you hear a loud car pulling out at a green light, and then you look and it's just the Subaru? But I, I know that Subaru owners might have taken that the wrong way. Sometimes you'll just be like walking on the street and you'll hear like, and then you turn and it's like a 2007 Subaru Impreza. And you're like, I'm not Impreza. Like, I'm honestly, I was hoping it would be like a Ferrari or something. 
but it turns out it's just you you think you're driving a rally car but actually you're at the intersection of like Georgia and Alberni it's not for those of you who don't live in Vancouver it's not really a rally kind of street okay zodiac sign wait no we can do this we can do this Japanese car manufacturers Mazda Suzuki Nissan Zodiac signs, Aquarius, Pisces, Crab, um, Cancer, Taurus, Gemini. Wait, uh, Aquarius, <laughs> Pisces, <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> If I were you, I'd lock my doors and windows and never, 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 never leave my house again. Capricorn? All your friends know you're an exciting and wonderful person, but we know they're lying. Okay, and then... Remember that when your appendix burst next week, Pisces. I don't know. There's, there's more. Like, um, Libra. That's one. Scorpio. There's more. Gemini. Poison Tears. Pisces. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> He's Isaac Pilled. That Capricorn's already on there? I don't know. I give up. Aries! Of course. What the hell is Daihatsu? Never heard of it, man. It's Dodson. Oh. By the way, it's two all beef patties. Forgot about that. Singapore and the Philippines. Forgot the damn pickles. No, Dodson is Nissan. Nissan. Never mind then. Can you name the first five in these history categories? Yeah, U.S. presidents. Washington. Adams. Jefferson. Monroe, no, sorry, Madison. Who that would have been embarrassing. Monroe. Royal Houses of England. You got the Tudors in there. Never mind. You got the Lancashires. Lan you got the Lancasters. You've got the uh, Plantagenets. You are. <laughs> the Godwinsons. You've got the, um, the Sinclairs. You've got the... You've got the, um, um, you've got the, um, William the Conqueror. Okay, we got a, ancient wonders built. First one, it's got to be the pyramids, man. Then after that, you got to go, um, the Colossus at Rhodes. <laughs> You gotta go um, Stonehenge. That's okay. Countries the U.S. declared war upon: Spain, Mexico. This is gonna okay. So we know based on chronological order, it can't be itself because itself would have been in 1860. So, <laughs> but England, I guess, would be the excuse me, Britain, excuse me, the United Kingdom. Okay. I mean, and then we're looking at. From 1898 onwards, you got World War I, Germany. And then, I don't know, at, at, in 1917, did they declare war on further um, triple alliance partners after that? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I almost want to type Germany again, but I don't think that would be the I'm, I'm going to guess, like, just give me a second here. I'm going to say that um, maybe... Austria, Hungary. I'm insane. He's insane. He's insane. He's insane. He's insane. He's insane. Korea? What the hell are you talking? Dude, you you gotta look up our history of the Korea War, man. Okay, anyway. 
Chinese dynasties. The Ming Dynasty. The Tang Dynasty? The... <laughs> Chinese history is like old, man. Like, and I mean that in a in a good way. Like the fourth most recent on this list is in 206 BCE. That's like when Rome was fucking founded. Countries in the Americas to declare independence. The USA. Okay. Um, hold on. Ancient wonders. Sorry, fourth least recent. That's what I, that's what I meant. These quizzes are the right level of difficulty, man. Ancient wonders. Ancient wonders. The hanging, let's go! The hanging gardens of Babylon. That's the luckiest guess of my entire life to get two off of that. I, the Royal Houses of England is pissing me off. Sinclair? I named like five Royal Houses. I'm, I'm giving up. Wessex, Denmark, Normandy, Blois. Hey, Blois. Angevin. Okay. Okay, realistically, which one of these would I have gotten? Maybe I could have gotten Normandy, okay? Out of these, I'm getting none of them. I don't, rem I don't, these do not, next in my list of the wonders of the world is the Eiffel Tower. So I was obviously like not even close. These I could have guessed out maybe, but I was just a little lazy. First five in literature. Okay, we're actually like a little fucked for sure. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, American Stay Malding, Canadian Stay Malding. Second is Chamber of Secrets. I haven't read anything past the first one. The third one is Gary Oldman's Prisoner of Azkaban. The fourth one is Goblet of Fire. And the fifth one is the Half-Blood Prince. Oh, fuck. Whatever. And by the way, you're going to be like, how do you know all this shit if you never read it? Because um, you fuckers wouldn't shut up uh, about it when it came out. Okay, A Song of Ice and Fire novels. A Game of Thrones. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I haven't read these either. A Feast for Crows. Dance of Dragons. Is that the one that isn't out yet? The War of the Five Kings. Winter. Winds of Winter. Wilds of Winter. The Dragon's Dance. The Winds of the Winter. Um, okay, I pass. That's the one that's not out yet. Okay, okay. Shakespeare plays alphabetically. That's hard, man. That's not easy. Hamlet for H? No? Oh, shit. Um, a Midsummer's Night's Dream. A Midsummer's Night's Dream. A Midsummer Night Dream. A Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> That's number six. I'll see you in hell. That's just there. So, uh, uh, space M. I give up. I can't think of five that are before that. I don't think I can think of one that's before that. Bronte sister novels. Emily. Oh. <laughs> Wuthering Heights. I don't know any others. Animal species in Dr. Seuss book titles. The cat in the hat. Fish. Red fish, blue fish. Um, Horton Hears a Who? The Grinch? Hop on Pop? 
Oh, the things you can think, the shapes of things and other stuff. Um, Toni Morrison novels. A Raisin in the Sun. Really? I give up. I, I know none of this. I actually know none of this. Wait. I didn't know Jane Eyre was by Abrante. I honestly thought, by the way, we beat, did not beat the average. Jane Eyre, I honestly thought was by Jane Austen, which you can understand why. Now, let me tell you, I did not know Thidwick the Big-Hearted Moose, On Beyond Zebra, or Yertle the Turtle, and other stories. These, um, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Probably could have gotten this. Storm of Swords, I was never going to get, okay? I probably could have thought of at least a Dance with Dragons and a Clash with Kings, all right? This pisses me off. How is it possible that A Midsummer's Night's Dream is... Oh no, it counted as a as a positive. The A is omitted? That's fucking stupid. Yeah, if you're alphabet if you're putting something in uh Netflix, you omit the A. On a bookshelf, I would not omit the A. In libraries they do? What do they know about books and organizing them? I would put a mid... Because here's the thing. I feel like in some... Like, you got a movie called... You know you have a Batman movie. You don't know whether it's Batman or The Batman or The Dark Knight, you know? So you, you put the, the Batman and The Batman next to each other, okay? But a uh, is doing a lot of work in a uh, Midsummer's Night's Dream. It's not one of those things where you're like... I don't know where, does it have an uh, does, nobody goes, oh yeah, we saw that Shakespeare play, Midsummer's Night's Dreams. Nobody says that. Everybody's, the uh is, is not just an article. It's doing, it's doing heavy lifting. Uh, this is the most controversial bit we've ever had. It's not even a bit, but like, <laughs> Jerry, the guy's an A includer. He just, so what does he do? Does he stack up all the books with the in T? Jerry, you don't understand. There's some informative does and there's some declarative does. The informative does go in T. The declarative does go in whatever the letter of the second word starts with. I should be her only fan. So true, so true. Are we, okay, now we've looped all the way back around. Gaming, at least let me get a 75. Okay, Legend of Zelda games. You've got The Legend of Zelda. You have Link's Adventure. You have The Legend of Zelda 2, Link's Awakening, Link's Adventure. The Adventure of Link. Link, A Link to the Past. Link's Awakening. Ocarina of Time. Monopoly Squares. Baltic. Oh, Go? Okay. Mediterranean. Luxury Tax. Income Tax. Chance. You got a chance there? You got a community chest? You got a community chest? Okay, he's insane. Nintendo Home Consoles. NES. SNES, N64, GameCube. What the hell came before the NES? Am I going to feel stupid about this one? Maybe. Grand Theft Auto locations. Liberty City, Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City again. I forgot what Grand Theft Auto V's location is called. Resources of Catan. Wheat, sheep, wood. One day I'm going to get the exact wording. Or brick. Pokemon. Bulbasaur. Ivysaur. Venusaur. Charmander. 
Charmeleon. Grand Theft Auto locations. Loss. That's gonna that's gonna burn me up. Chinatown Wars. I'm giving up. I'm giving up. Color TV game. Oh, London, and then anywhere city. We crushed the average at least. Color TV game. Los Santos. Los Santos. Anywhere city. I told you, I don't know gaming. Colors of Joseph's Technicolor dream coat. Red. Orange. Yellow. White. Purple. I say blue. Maybe some green in there. Maybe some pink. Maybe some indigo. Some chartreuse. Maybe some black. Maybe some... I already type yellow. I already type purple. Gold. Maybe some gold. Okay. MCU superheroes created by Stan Lee. Captain America. Iron Man. Iron Man. The Hulk. Spider-Man. Dude, he had a he had a great uh, 1962, huh? Black Widow, Doctor Strange. There's a few more. Captain Marvel, Ant Man. This dude, you talk about one of the greatest. 1962s of all time? It's insane, dude. Okay, I, I gotta move on for a second. Broadway shows with 5,000 performances. Cats. Phantom of the Opera. Sorry, The Phantom of the Opera. Rent. No. P South Pacific. West Side Story. West, I was going to get that one anyway, but West Side, West Side Story, Oklahoma. That's only, it's got 4,999 because uh, Charlie Kaufman never put on a live performance of So I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Broadway shows with 5,000 performances. Wicked. No, it probably is po a little post 2000, huh? Newsies. Jersey Boys. How about American Idol winners? Hey, I can do this one. American Idol winners. It's um, Kelly Clarkson. It's Ruben Studdard. It's Carrie Underwood. Oh, wait, and Fantasia Barino. And uh, Taylor Hicks. Wow. They, they reused the category and got me some free points. Thank you. Actors to play Batman in a live action feature film. Michael Keaton. You're fucked. Val Kilmer. George Clooney. Christian Bale. <laughs> EGOT winners Liza Minnelli Liza Minnelli Liza Minnelli Bernstein Hammerstein Manuel Miranda How do you spell How do you spell Liza Minnelli I give up man Groot Groot, this the first thing this motherfucker made was Groot. Thor, we probably should have gotten. 1960, he's like Groot. They were like, get out of my office. 1962, he's like, here's four of the most iconic superheroes of all time. They're like, all right, you're hired. But he said, okay, but I'm not giving, if you take Thor, you got to take the tree that talks too, Okay. Two years of just Groot. I would not have gotten any of those. First five religion. Okay. I'm predicting that I get... Um, I'm going to say I get eight. Books of the Bible. Hey, you got Genesis. You got Numbers. You got Deuteronomy. Okay. I'm tapped. You got the Gospels of Paul. 
people named in the Bible. Abraham. He's Abraham's not up there. He's like the guy. He's the guy. God. I guess the God. Sorry, God's not a person. Unless what if God was one of us? Adam, Eve, a snake, the apple, Noah, whatever. Okay, who gets named a Genesis 420? Because honestly, that just sounds like a great day in 1995. Olympian Roman gods alphabetically. Apollo. Ares. I don't know the Roman ones or the Greek ones, okay? But you got Apollo, you got like... Hermes, you've got um, Demeter, Demeter, whatever, you got fucking <laughs> plagues of Egypt, I know you got locusts, pestilence, diseased livestock, that's what I meant, the death of the firstborn, I remember that one, aren't there like sandstorms, <laughs> swarms, swarms of locusts, okay, okay, <laughs> Um, daily creations. I got to assume the earth is up there. The earth wasn't the first thing. It's the stars, maybe. Maybe stars. This motherfucker made the earth before the stars. It must have been cold as hell, dude. What the fuck am I doing? Also, what is a Surah of the Quran? Is that a person or like a tenant? Those are the pillars. Those are chapters. I give up. I beat what I thought I would do. I w look, probably could have gotten those two if I thought for a hundred years. Maybe Cain and Abel. We're never getting any of these. The opening, the calf, the family of Imran, the women, the table spread with food. I just don't know them. I got to say, God was kind of chilling on day five. I know on the seventh day he rested. Day one, he's like, I invented light. You can see things now. Plants can grow. Day two, he said, guess what? Here's an eternal paradise. Fulfills your every desire, everything you could possibly want. Day three, here's a planet. Here's a planet with nearly self-sustaining life that can create life from it. Day four, ah, here's the sun, the moon, and the stars. Essentially, the entire universe. Day five, he was like fishing birds. I think he took off at noon. I think he said, you know what? I've been working hard and more power to him. But I think he took kind of a half day that day. The day. He made the sun, the moon, and the stars. And the next day he's like, birds and fish. Birds and fish. Not even, he couldn't have fit in the reptiles. I guess it is a Friday. That's a good point. No reptiles. No, no, I mean, there's other animals, I'm sure. Insects, I guess. Maybe those are birds. TGIF. I did better than I thought, honestly. 